I'm Mars from Soja Arts, and this video is going to be about your ethereal body. Um, you're going to hear a lot of people give you a lot of different interpretations of your ethereal body, which can also be seen as your energetic body or pretty much your soul. And I would like to say that the reason Soja is the most powerful uh, spiritual system and form of enlightenment on the planet right now and in a universe probably <laughs> is because it's a divine connection to under to the understanding that all of these sacred knowledge and um, hidden knowledge and pretty much uh, truth, all of the truth and the consciousness in the universe is based off of your ability to take your own energy and create a reality for these not for this knowledge to be existed in. So that's why you're going to see the interpretation of the energetic body that we have to offer because we as a group and as individuals may dedicated ourselves to creating our own interpretation and own understanding of what could be seen. All right, so welcome to the ethereal body slash energetic body slash soul body lesson brought to you by Soja Arts. I'm using the interpretation that we created, which is the ethereal body. Now, I want to start off by saying that the understanding that we have of our body is supposed to be in layers, you see, because every part of you was created and formed in layers since you were in your mom's womb and before that you were somewhere else in a different layer or a different what they call realm now all realms that exist are can only be experienced through a body or a vehicle by your soul now your soul creates these bodies in these different layers in order to go through different environments and different realities so the best way that you can break that down as a human is by actually understanding that we have a known seven bodies that every human being has at least now inside of these seven bodies are different energies and different understandings of the universe that we live in now with that being said i'm gonna start off by teaching the way that some people will be able to understand which is based off chakra levels and stuff like that so in case you don't know chakras are energy wheels or the cycle or the what they call in science the circadian rhythm of each organ inside of your body you want to look that word up you want to look that phrase up circadian rhythm you want to look up prana and you want to look up chi because these are all systems and you want to look up chakra because these are all systems and these are all words that are going to help you understand and have better visualizations uh, to accustom i mean to accompany you and understanding your ethereal body and the layers of your body so with that being said we all know that um one of the first chakras that we have on the human in the human um, reality is our root chakras. You feel me? The root chakra is the part of your energetic body that simply just needs to survive. You feel me? And the reason that we have interpreted this as an X is you can see it as an X. Now, at first, I want you to see this as an X. And once you look at this X, you're going to see at the there's four different directions in which the X has you feel me separated basically now inside of this is four different triangles now these triangles are symbols that so the soja uses to help you understand the direction 
of each energy and each layer of energy in your body. So with that being said, I was just telling you about the root chakra. And on our energetic body, you will see that the root chakra is, uh, out of all the four tri triangles on the graph, you will see that the root chakra is at the bottom one, or what we would consider to be the bottom one. So inside of the bottom uh, reality, which is the realm or the layer of your body and the layer of your energy, which is composed of the root chakra or what we call in Sojai, the one energy and the opposite of the one energy, which everything works in opposition, which is in reality why everything is connected. So, it, well, this is when we're talking about energy and we're talking about your uh, ethereal body, this is how things work. So, yin and yang go hand in hand. Now, when we're talking about, you know, when we're talking about the root chakra, which is the one, uh, the one energy and the seven energy, then we're focusing on very, what we would call ego-based or survival-based or simply that's the layer of your body that just needs by any means necessary to be alive. Who, that's the part of your body that's telling you that your purpose on this planet is to be here in order to found a the rest of your realities. So you want to see your, you want to see the bottom half of your ethereal body or your bottom half of your ethereal body, which is from, you feel me, your root chakra on down. And when you go all down to your feet, the, you this is some of your ch uh, strongest chakras because your feet have your, that's where most of your soul lies in your body. So everywhere up from down from your feet, up to where your root chakra at, which comes up to around where you're um, like a couple centimeters below your navel. This is where the energy uh, pretty much dominates. And the layer of your body that is responsible for this energy being manifested into your two legs is the one and the seven energy. Because you have to understand that your, your first chakra is very dependent on you being alive. Now, with that being said, the opposite of that energy of you being alive, which is very dominant and equally as dominant as the one energy, is the seven energy. Now, once again, you have seven chakras. So the reason we put the one and the seven right here next to each other is because they're opposites. Even in astrology, the first house is opposite of the seventh house when you're because you have 12 signs. But that's not the only reason because you have also 12 chakras. And both of these chakras, even your highest chakra, your highest chakra, which they say is your crown chakra, is located, truly, it is located in the lower part of your ethereal body. It is not located necessarily at this point. It is channeled through this point. But the main place where the, the, main place where the one and the seven energy likes to lie is in the lower part of your body. So do not get this confused. Anytime you do any type of chakra work, you will realize that when you do crown chakra work, for some reason, it affects your feet. For some reason, it affects your little body. And you will you will know why now, because I just told you. <laughs> now, with that being said, I want you to notice something else about down here where this one and seven energy is at. Because where the one and seven energy lies in your ethereal body and which is also where it lies in the universe, it is always attracted to the layer of the universe and reality that is material and physical. Even the most spiritual aspect of you and your reality, which is your crown chakra, is truly, it is, it is magnetized, it is attracted to the physical material realm, and that is why it is the higher, it is the higher part of the physical realm itself which is just the lower part of your true body. Now, I'm not saying that your crown chakra is not spiritual. What I'm saying is, I want you to understand that the crown chakra is simply the most spiritual thing you can get on the plane of the material world. Now, understand that, please. So with that being said, it is very important to master the lower half of your ethereal body. And 
what we call the upright pyramid. Once you have mastered the upright pyramid, then your material, your physical body will start to uh, take hold of the rest of the invisible parts of your body. The rest of the layers of your body that you cannot necessarily see will start to be manifested through the material realm, whether it's stuff that you're conscious of or not. But if you truly have mastered the material realm, you will be conscious of. It. You will be start to be conscious of everything that you manifest in the past, the present, and start to be able to predict what you might do in the future because you're so in tune with yourself. Thank you very much for tuning in once again. I just want to take a little break and thank everybody because being on this journey of learning about uh, and mastering self-knowledge and um, pretty much wanting to know hidden truths and wanted to know a deeper cost having to wanted to have a de deeper cosmic connection to be able to manifest what you need in life is very very lonely sometimes not saying that you don't have a family out there that supports you because I do and pretty sure everybody does but with that being said you have to make sure that you don't stay inside of the box of comfort of what they call comfort basically which is just being unconscious and um you have to make sure that you challenge yourself to actually understand concepts in a perfected way meaning that you will not take any if you have any questions about this that you cannot be that cannot be answered to you at that time then you will find a conclusion with that being said i'll move on to the next section and what we have right here is do we have the um, higher triangle or the X, the part of the X where the the head of the tri uh, X, and the part this this head of the X represents in your ethereal body the parts of you that are the two energy and the four energy. The two energy is the energy that deals with uh, more personal relationships, like your yin, like like the one and the seven energy, with more so dominate your your yin but the two and the four energy will more so dominate your yang and with that being said the reason we drew the two and the four energy in the head of the x and the part of your ethereal body that rep that is in control of your upper body in reality and when i say upper body you want to when i say when i'm speaking about this energy i'm talking about from your heart on up from your heart on up okay so what that's saying is this energy right here on up all the way to your third eye but in reality we're not talking about the inside once again we're talking about the outer realm so this is why it's important to this is why we as soldier i found it important to demonstrate the true spirituality on this graph because once again once you go in right here what we were just talking about, which is the one and seven energy of your ethereal body. And then you feel me, you master that, then you come out the top of the Taurus field. And then that Taurus field is going to circulate you outwards and circulate you back in through the portal that you just came from, which is the one and seven energy. So with that being said, we're not talking about yin right here when I'm saying, you feel me, that, that's the part of your body where it represents. We're not talking about the inside. We're talking about the outside. So the two and the four energies are representing your heart from the outside all the way up to the, your third eye. And this is the part of our um, reality that we have to live with. This is the part of our reality that we build relationships based off of. This is the part of our reality that we build like uh, uh, understanding that we build a foundation for understanding off of and a foundation for um, basically how to connect with the universe around us and to make it a sustainable connection versus versus a destructive and a more chaotic one where we would have to go through changes we actually want to be comfortable on the outside so this is the part of your ethereal body that is dealing with waves and frequencies this is the part of your consciousness that can understand frequencies and waves but cannot translate that into idiotic human thought. All it can do is bother to 
initiate the all it can do is bother to initiate the actual manifestation to happen it's the part of you that your ego it's the part of you that in reality that your ego cannot understand it's the part of you that your ego would not be able to understand or trace or anything like that anything external to you basically especially dealing with the um, the expression of emotions and feelings and thoughts these are all energies that come from the two and four realm you feel me so you have to understand on a deeper level that as your energy comes from the material realm which we are in right now and it goes up your consciousness is going up into a higher to the higher or to the head of your ethereal body then at that point in time that energy is being split so that's why you have the two and the four energies there too because two is a representation of something being split in half in the equal alignment and then four is something being that have been split again equally and that's why they're saying we live in a we're heading toward a fourth dimensional type reality because it's saying that we're 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 exiting this lower part of our body and it's standing it upwards to a part of our body where we can actually see things from a wider point of view that's not so material and egotistical. Now, we may be um, we may be also able to connect this two and four uh, ethereal body, the the ethereal body of your upper head of your ethereal body. I mean, my bad. Excuse me for that. I've been goddamn jibber jabbering for the last two minutes, but I just got these stones in my hand, so everything from here is gonna be smooth. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put this mic down too. But anyway, I'm gonna uh, let you know that the upper part of your ethereal body, which is associated with the two and four energies, could also just like at the bottom could be associated with your chakras. So you can associate these parts of your ch uh, chakra body as, you feel me, your, what the two energy will represent is what's above the root chakra, which is they call the sacral chakra. And then what the four energy will represent is what they call the heart chakra, you feel me? And these two energies are the two most important chakras on your whole body in reality. The upper part of your whole, the upper part of your ethereal body is the most important thing when it comes to being able to be alive. It is your will to be alive beyond just yourself, which is truly what a lot of spiritual systems would say is truly your purpose for being here is to experience something outside of your self in your own ego which is the universe you came from is just you you feel me so with that being said the more that you connect to your your sacral chakra and your heart chakra then you will start to see that everything in your universe and in your reality can be decoded and recoded whatever way you see fit as long as your heart and your sacral your heart chakra judges that or sees that as fitting for your body and your being so your health in reality is 100% based off of your four energy because if your heart if your heart chakra is not in the right place then everything about your reality will be stuck in a material realm you will not be able to send your ego any messages from out, from outside of yourself you will not be able to receive ethereal messages from the outside realms you will only be able to literally think about yourself which is the one energy in the root chakra and and the seven energy which is just out out of worldly things and things that don't really have a grounding in reality you can only think about yourself and outer worldly things which in reality leads to insanity nine times out of ten leads to a lot of mental problems so with that being said, I'm gonna move on to the next couple. Um, the next two 
parts of your ethereal body. We've already talked about the lower part of your body, your ethereal body, which is where the one and the seven energies reside inside of a material and physical um, reality, which you can choose to locate yourself with and live in. We've already talked about your upper ethereal body, which is where the two and the four energy resides, which is where frequencies and waves are existing. And literally, your only body that you have in this reality is frequencies and waves. You have no other, you have no um, substance. You, I mean, this, you have only substance. You have no form and no shape. It's 100% complete freedom. So, now we're going to go to uh, the outside energies or what, what will be considered the return of energy back to its source in the Taurus field. So, I want you to see at this point that this is, in reality, see this as a tornado. Or you, I want you to see this as a three-dimensional shape. How can you see this in a three-dimensional shape? I want you to literally see it like this. Imagine this being somebody's waist right here. Imagine this right here, the middle point where everything, where all the triangles are meeting. See that as somebody's waist. Now I want you to see this as somebody's leg, and this is somebody's leg. And this is somebody's waist. And I want you to see this is somebody's upper body, and this is somebody's upper body shaping going outwards. Now, I want you to imagine this energy right here being the arms. So this is the legs. This is the up this is the outlining of your upper body all the way up to your the top of your head, which is in reality in your ethereal body, you don't have a crown on your head. You don't have a crown on your head because all the energy that is exiting the bottom which is the, what you see as the top of your ethereal body has to return back to the bottom of it. So if your ethereal body had a crown or a head or a something to close its head up with, then the energy of the universe would not be infinite. So that's how we know that this is the outer shaping of your upper body to your body that doesn't have a head, okay? Now, with that being said, we, we're going to take that image and we're going to extend it to say that these, these uh, figures and these energies outside of these legs and this upper body is your arms. This is your arms. Now, this also represents the two sides of your brain. So, with that being said, now you have a complete body. You have a lower body right here. You have a, the upper body right here. And then, finally, you have the limbs for that body, besides your legs, of course, being expressed through the outside of that body. Okay, now that I got that point across. I want to start off with the right brain. I want to start off with the right brain. So the right brain is over here. And what we have here is all of all of the two energies is broken down through the right brain. And all of the four energy all of the two and the seven energies are broken down through the right brain. So when we're talking about two and seven energy, we have to see it like this. We're going to go back to bring all this together pretty much. So on your right side, over here, inside of your body, you have the seven energy. Outside of your body, you have the two energy. So you would have to see that if the bottom of this is yin and the upper part of this is yang, that... At that point, you will have to understand that this is yin and this is yang. The right side is yin and the left side is yang. Okay?
So with that being said, the seven and the two energies are recycled and broken down and analyzed and brought back to you in your human body, in your human shape, in your human form through the three, six, and nine energies. The three, six, and nine energies are truly the energies of creation, manifest, you want to call it manifestation, you want to call it, um, you want to call it, uh, abundance or anything that has to do with creating something or making a brand new something or being original. This all, it stands from the three, six, and nine energies, which is 100% governed and 100% governs the area of your ethereal body, which is called the right brain or what we call the right brain or overall what we call the, you feel me, yang energy. I mean the yin energy. So this is how this works. So this, the material realm on the lower part of your body is 100% yin. So you have to understand that what matches that yin energy is what completes that, ener that uh, yin energy and governs it and is a more concentrated and more powerful form of that yin energy is going to be the three cents and nine energy in your right brain. So you would see your lower body yin as, you feel me? You would see this as um, your ego, which is inside of you and it controls and only thinks about itself and it can only think about outlandish things and there is no, you feel me, middle point for it. You don't really know how to get yourself to these outlashes, outlandish, unrealistic things. You take those two energies and you match it with the three, six, and nine energy, then you have, you would be 100% aligned to make things that you see as unrealistic, things that you see as spiritual, things that you see as higher than yourself, things that you see that could complete you as a person, you will start manifesting that through the three, six, and nine energy. The three is the part of you when you get to be aware of, uh, be aware of the fact that you could create things. Be aware of the fact that of the fact that you have created things in the past, and what you have created in the past. And then when you pass that energy along and you build on it over time, you get to the sixth energy, in which you start practicing and making all of the energies that you see as um, imaginary and unrealistic and a part of you that will complete you and your higher self and all this shit. Once you start being more conscious of this energy and more conscious that you can create this energy, then you start practicing it and trying to make it more practical to you. And then you start being willing to fail with the understanding and consciousness that that every, that the process you're on is leading to the manifestation and the completion of what your ego wants. So it's a cycle of your ego. Like you gotta see it like this. Your right brain works with your lower ethereal body in a way that your ego is saying, oh yeah. And your ego and your and your uh, crown, your root chakra and your crown chakra are talking to each other saying, oh yeah, I want, I want to live a better life. I want to make everything better to myself. So that energy goes up and it becomes the two energy. You feel me? If you have mastered, if you have mastered being in the material realm, that energy will go up from being the one energy, the ego energy. It'll go to the two energy, and it'll say, it'll transform the two energy, and it'll say, okay, where can I find an example of this outside of myself? You get what I'm saying? Where can I find an example of what I'm trying to accomplish and what I see as spiritual and what I see can complete me outside of myself? And then that question and you being outside of yourself and you being in the energy of your upper body eventually leads to you being conscious of ways to actually make these things happen. Now, once you take that energy and then you take that back to your one energy and you say, oh, shit, I'm conscious of the fact that I can do certain things now. I'm conscious of the fact that it's certain ways of doing certain things that I just went outside of myself to find, then that one energy sends that energy back up to the two, and the two is going to send that two times three, and it's going to give you six. 
Now, with that being said, if you take one plus two, you get three. You feel me? Now, if you take two times three, you get six. So, with that energy being doubled now in your right brain, then you can take that energy in what you're practicing and becoming practical with it, and you're starting to, you feel me, uh, use this as something to be beneficial in your community, and you start handing it out to other people, and you become this two energy for some other people, then eventually you start feeling in your heart something for this energy. You start loving this energy. You start wanting to make this more applicable to you, and then you fall in love with it. And then you go through these stages of doing on your left brain and your left brain and your yang realm. You go through a process of that, too, which I'm going to get to in the future. I mean, in the rest of the video. But right now, we're focusing on the right brain. That's when you get to the nine energy. After you have done these things in your community and you have mastered them and you have done it with other people and taught other people how to do it and you've made it a... Uh, a cycle, a social cycle outside of yourself. And it's a system for other people and a social system for other people in which they can use it for their self to become and reach, I mean, to reach the same goal that you reach, reach, then you've mastered it. And now you have completed, now you have completed something, an energy going through your whole ethereal body. But with that being said, it always come back home here in the material realm. You feel me? And it it has to it manifests itself in the material realm physically. And when I say physically, I literally just mean like any way that you could tell, any way that you can sense it or not fucking sense it is the way it comes back to the material realm. So now that we've mastered your lower body, your lower ethereal body, and then we talked about and mastered your upper ethereal body, and we talked about and mastered your right, the right side of your ethereal body, and the energy which we would see as, um, let's say particles. You will see this. You will see your right body as particles. You will see this as lines and shapes. You will see your lower body as lines and shapes. So that's why this is a graph and it has limes and shapes and it has planets and all these words on it. You realize that no other part of this body has words on it. You realize that no other part of this body has graphs and shit lined up perfectly together. Because it's not material. This is the material realm is where all other all the other layers of your body and all the other Beings in the universe come to express the layers of their body. So you'll see that this has lines and shapes and shit because that's how the best, that's the best way to express the part of your body, which is material and physical, which is lines and shapes. And then you realize that when you come to your upper ethereal body, you have frequencies and waves. You have frequencies and waves. And, um,. The frequencies of waves are the perfect or the most closest symbol for the two and the four energy, which represents your upper body, your, the upper part of your body. And you come over here to the right side and you see that as particles. You see a lot of like dots and random floaty shit connected to each other. So with that being said, that's the particles. Now... The thing, the last thing that you have to know about your um, ethereal body is going to be the left part of your ethereal body. The left part of your ethereal body, or what we would want to call the, um, the left brain, excuse me. The left brain has the energy of five and eight. Five and eight energies are energies that are very focused on experience, and it's fo it's very focused on, um, it's very focused on experience and it, and uh, repetition, and it's very focused on having things in order and lined up and enjoying things and being able to basically, um. 
it's basically the thing that connects everybody together without any agenda to it. And what we will call that energy, what we like to call that energy is magnetic. So, or electromagnetic. So with that being said, the left brain, um, it's the part of your ethereal body that is responsible for the experiences and the memory, the memory pool that you have and the experiences that you have and everything that you store as a person and everything that you want to record and bring back up. This is the energy that's responsible for stuff like that. This is the energy that stores all of the divine knowledge of the right brain. This is the energy that stores that and is able to break it down for you for the rest of the world to understand in yang terms. So you have to see that this is responsible. This is the four energy being magnetized the same way the right brain magnetizes the two energy, the left brain magnetizes the four energy. And the way that it does this is that the four energy is really focused on uh, it's the more it's the part of frequencies and waves that is more focused on having a sustainable wave, having one that is a wave that's going to last long. It doesn't have to necessarily um, exert its energy so fast. The two energy is really ready to exert its energy on the spot, and the four energy is ready to exert its energy in a sustainable, experience-filled way because it wants to remember these things, and it, ha it has to have somewhere to store these things at. And the four energies where it's stored at, which is, you can see it as your house and your upper, in the upper part of your ethereal body, which is where your consciousness likes to live. But with that being said, the four energy is broken down through the five and eight energy. Because with that, uh, with everything that is stored up here in your fourth house, it brings you back around in order to experience it and give you the energy overall to be able to extend this outside of yourself. Anything that is inside of you that has to be manifested outside of yourself, this is this is what the left brain and the left part of your theory of body is responsible for. And we want to start seeing ourselves as layers because even what they tell you in the English language in the English by uh, in a in American biology basically they tell you that you have layers meaning you have a bone you have a bone structures you have muscle structures you have uh, organs and uh, you have skin and shit like that I mean it's different there's different layers. I don't know if I named all that shit, but pretty much what I know is, even from them saying that, you can understand that there's layers to your body. And each one of these layers is 100% chemically um, independent of each other, but they're brought together through the skin of your body. And you would want to see the left part of your body as like the skin of your whole fucking body. That's the skin of your whole ethereal body. And you'll want to see, you feel me? You'll want to see this as the spirit of your body. Like the actual, your spiritual, your actual spiritual body. And you will want to see this as the part of your spiritual body that wants to experience something outside of being a spirit. So, but that being said, um, see this is you can see this is four triangles, you can see this four pyramids, you can see this one pyramid, you can see it as an X with four different rounds in it. You can see it as uh, like I said, you can see it as a human body with this being the lower half of the body, or you can simply see it as a pie chart. And uh, with that being said, I hope you enjoy learning about your ethereal body. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
I know you did. Anyway, uh, check out the rest of the Soulja Eye Solutions videos. So check out the rest of Soulja Eye Arts videos. I'm going to be making more videos like this. Y'all comment, like the video, or whatever. I don't like saying shit. Yeah. See you in the next one.